Are you happy you're not a goblin shark? Hey, I'm Dr. Karen Bondar, biologist with a twist, and I am happy to be a guest here on Animalist News today. The world is abuzz this week about the astonishing bycatch from a shrimping trawler off the coast of Florida. A massive goblin shark was caught in the nets of fisherman Carl Moore. And before allowing it to escape back down to the watery depths, Moore whipped out his phone and recorded the animal in all of its hideous glory. <laughs> now, most media outlets are really stuck on the fact that the goblin shark is more than a little unfortunate looking. Sure, you probably wouldn't want to run into this puppy during a leisurely swim on your beach vacation, but you know what? It probably wouldn't want to run into you either. Goblin sharks are part of the family Mitsukorinidae, a lineage over 125 million years old. This was only the second specimen to be reported from the Gulf of Mexico. They're generally more abundant in the deep underwater canyons surrounding Japan. Japanese folks refer to the goblin sharks as Tenguzame, which references a half-bird, half-human creature called a tengu. Now, here's the thing. It's easy for us humans to decide that the goblin shark is ugly and awful and horrible, but what we know about the process of evolution is that something as ancient as the goblin shark must be utterly well adapted to its environment. Who are we to make fun of a creature that's been around five times longer than us meager primates? So why does the goblin shark look the way it does? Even in a retracted position, the shark's jaws are large and intimidating. When it bites, the jaws are assisted by two pairs of elastic ligaments at the mandibular joint that essentially catapult it forward. Goblin sharks are ambush predators, sneaking up on unsuspecting cephalopods, crustaceans, or bottom-dwelling fish, and snapping their death trap jaws with nail-like teeth to trap their catch. I want to end by giving a shout out to our fisherman, Carl Moore, who really did the right thing by both releasing the shark, documenting the sighting, and reporting it to the correct authorities. This kind of citizen science awesomeness is really helpful to biologists looking to learn more about these elusive creatures. What do goblin sharks have in common with shrimp? <laughs> Not much other than this one was caught on a shrimping boat. But if you want to know something interesting, go check out my video on DNews where I talk about a new kind of plastic that's made from shrimp. Also, be sure to check out I Effing Love Science with Elise Andrew where she explores all things trending in science. She delves into interesting stories in chemistry, health, astronomy, and beyond, including stuff like this. In a cave in Brazil, an insect has been discovered that has swapped genitals. When it's time to mate, the female mounts the male, inserts her gynosome into his vagina-like genitalia, and they begin a copulation session that lasts 40 to 70 hours. Do you think the goblin shark is really that ugly? When all is said and done, I think it's pretty darn awesome, but you can let us know in the comments below and have a look at some of our other videos. I'm Karen Bondar, and it has been a pleasure to be here on Animalist News today.